Good morning, everybody. Happy Vlogmas Day 12. Danielle's doing an early morning workout. Not early morning, it's not early morning. But for me, it's early. I'm doing a 9 a.m. Pilates class, and I'm excited to start my day like this. I feel good, I feel rested, I feel rejuvenated. Watched the White Lotus finale last night. It's Monday morning. We have another amazing, exciting week ahead. Today's gonna be really fun. Going ice skating tonight at Bryant Park and checking out a cool Christmas bar with one of my friends. So really looking forward to that. But I wanna start off the week right. So I'm wearing this purple set, active set. Some Gals on the Go merch. This sweatshirt is so comfortable because it is indeed very cold outside. It's like 31. I'd say that's like the coldest it's been here this like winter so far. I got my photos back this morning from the photo shoot yesterday did with the planner, so I'm really excited to release those shortly. And I also uploaded a new Vlogmas, but right now we're just gonna enjoy a nice brisk walk <laughs> to uh, New York Pilates. That's the Pilates class I go to. Um, this headband is from Jerf Avenue. I just with Pilates, I always put my hair up, but then you do a lot of laying down. And so my ponytail, it hurts because you're like, whatever, I need a tote bag. I'm gonna use my trot and true big aloe bag again because I hope I remember. I would like to run to the store to get more paper towels and just some sort of laundry detergent while I wait for my glamorous wash to come in the mail. That would be nice. So we're gonna have to Pilates. I feel like I could even use another layer. Like it's gonna be cold, but it's a quick walk and you don't wear shoes and Pilates, so I'm just wearing Uggs. Very comfortable. Happy Monday. I really think Pilates might be my new workout. Like, I feel like I'm glowing. I really think that, and I kind of knew this because I've taken Pilates before, but this morning kind of affirmed it and I hope I'm not jinxing myself and then I like don't go to Pilates anymore. I have another class scheduled this week. I feel like Pilates is that perfect mix for me of getting a really good workout, but it's not as like intense in the sense of cardio so I don't get as anxious, but I feel amazing and the instructor that I went to today and I went to her a couple weeks ago as well, she or last week, she's very good at directing you like inhale, exhale, and that's why I love working out with Jane too because she's like, wait, you inhale this, exhale that, and it really helps to like stay calm and like calm the nervous down, system down during the workout. And I love the vibes. They play like chill, lofi beats while you work out. So yeah, I really, I really do get the hype. So the Pilates that New York Pilates is is Pilates Reformer. Um, so you're like on a machine. And I remember when I was in high school, I tried it and I just was really confused. So I kind of just wrote off Pilates for a really long time because I like had a bad experience. But I'm really impressed with New York Pilates. I love they put on these like pink and purple lights. Really nice in the morning, especially when you're like, you know, they're not blasting Drake, which I do love. But in the morning, you don't really want that. You know, it's such a nice start to the day, but like my legs are shaking. Like it's such a good workout. It's kind of like bar. I feel in the sense that it's like these little, not always little movements. Like some of them are big movements, but 
you know, you do them a lot of times in a row and it like I just know it's working. Like it feels so good um, and it feels good to feel good. So, and I like my commute there, like it's a nice walk. Equinox also has Pilates classes. They're not reformer or that you can do like privates, but like with my membership, I get like the matte Pilates. So I definitely want to try those as well. Um, but it feels good. It really feels good to look forward to a workout class. Like this morning I didn't wake up anxious about the workout. I was actually excited and I think that's something I need to listen to my own body and be like, oh, you're actually excited to do this? Why don't you try it? Like now I want to text Sydney Adams and be like, when we're in Tampa for, well, she lives there, but when I'm back in Tampa for the holidays, can we go to like a Pilates class? I think that would be so fun because I miss, you know, driving um, to a workout class in the morning. It was such a good start to my day when I was home and I just have been such a lazy slob when I I'm at home like not a slob but and it's okay to be that too but I just like to relax when I'm home but I also I don't know I feel like that'd be fun so I thought I'd share this revolution with you guys like I just felt good during that class whereas last week Pilates when I went at night after I'd done the day and done so much I wasn't it was kind of like weird so I think it'll be good to do these like morning Pilates classes and like you don't like my I'm definitely need to shower like my legs are sticky but I'm not like super sweaty. I don't know. I, I get why girls like Pilates and guys. Like I, I get it. Yeah, I thought I'd share that journey with you guys. I got more paper towels as expected. And I also, they didn't have a lot of laundry detergents to pick from, um, but I just got a big one of the Arm & Hammer. This is the Clean Burst scent. Um, I've actually heard really good things about this. And you know, who knows I'm gonna buy laundry detergent next. Oh, this smells good and it'll last me a long time and sometimes Ryan comes over and does laundry and so I know this will go pretty fast um, and it was cheap and then I got floss sticks because the ones I got on Amazon were like organic they just hurt like they don't they're not good so I got these floss sticks I'm trying to get back to flossing because there's just like so many benefits to flossing um, not just, like obviously for your teeth but also like your gums my dad was telling me like your gums like it all kind of connects to your brain and i'm like let's clear out that <laughs> let's floss it out and then this headband's good but it doesn't stick as well as i'd like to and i love these scuncy ones so i got i don't love this one but it came with a gray white tan and black um i feel like i'm always buying these and then i get them dirty but they're great for the winter because you can kind of put them on your ears when you're chilly but for pilates it really worked out having my hair down with a headband. I don't know if anyone was judging me, but it's so easy. I'm in a shower, make some breakfast, plot twist. Recording the podcast today, we were gonna record at Brooke's apartment, um, like kind of switch off back and forth because we recorded here last week, but she sent me a video and there is god awful construction noise, poor thing going on in her apartment. So she's gonna come back here and we'll record the podcast, but it's all good, we did it last week. I've got a few hours, I'm gonna wash my hair today, so that's gonna be a whole thing on its own. <laughs> I just showered, feeling fresh, the best feeling ever, especially after a workout, the shower just really hits different. I'm wearing our special edition live show merch that we are also selling this Saturday at the New York live show, or our second New York live show, should I say. I love it, it's so comfy. Because Brooke and I noticed that when we record the podcast and we match, it looks so good on camera. Like last week, we both wore the pink pajamas. And so today I was like, can we both wear the hoodies? Um, I don't know. Maybe it'll be a thing. Maybe it won't. I just like how it looks. For lunch, I totally forgot I had ground turkey and it's still good. So I thought it'd be fun to make some ground turkey tacos. Those sound delicious. I don't actually, I do have lettuce. It's butter lettuce, but I, it's still the same idea I'll just chop up some lettuce turkey tortilla salsa and then oh gosh phew okay I do have some taco seasoning I try to always buy a few so I have some on hand so we'll use this as well super easy and it tastes so good I'm having lunch and it's not even 11 so add an avocado boom now we're talking
Gonna do a hydrating sheet mask. This one is uh, from PMD, Hydrate Energizing Hydropeptides. Um, I didn't put any moisturizer on yet. And we're gonna start doing my makeup soon. But right before that, I didn't put any moisturizer on or anything. I just thought I would do this mask. Ooh, this looks like a good uh, heavy duty mask too. Hee <laughs> hee duty. I'm four years old, okay. I need to get some more loops face masks. I love those. I have to peel off the front part. Getting it to fit your face is always the fun part. The best, I didn't do it right now, I forgot, is to put eye masks under your sheet mask so your eye patches are on. It's like a whole nother level. This one feels very moisturizing, wow. Says to keep on for 15 to 20 minutes. All right. In about 15 minutes oh my gosh my skin feels so good I'm gonna take my gua sha and like gua sha the rest the residue that's on my face this feels so good my skin feels good it looks nice and glowy love a sheet mask all right I just did my eye makeup I I don't really know if this is good I'm just trying to I feel like I'm good at my face makeup but my eye makeup I always like I don't know. So I did like what I always do, bronzer all over and then like an inner corner highlight, but then I took like a small little brush and lined with brown eyeshadow my lash line and then my lower lash line as well. I think it helps make my eyes pop. I just got this beautiful gift set from Buxom. Their lip glosses are so amazing. I want to wear one of them for the podcast today. What's this? Plump shot. That probably really plumps, huh? This color is calling my name. This is called Full On. Oh, wait. No. Oh, my God. Shut up. <laughs> this lip gloss is called Ryan. Then we have Serena, Kimberly, Samantha, and Sophia. And then Ryan. So I guess they mean for like a girl name. But that is so funny. I'm going to line my lips a little bit. My favorite, my favorite time to apply lip liner is when my lips are like dry but moisturized. Like they're not chapped but they're dry like they might have makeup on it because it helps the lip liner like stay. Okay, we're gonna apply Ryan. That's so funny. Oh, it's so pretty too. My mom, growing up my mom always used these buxom lip glosses. So it makes me feel like my mom's here. My family comes on Friday, I'm so excited. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so I just Dyson air wrapped, like use the brush to straighten it, but I'm just gonna, I don't really wanna use a flat iron to my hair. Like I don't wanna do it. My hair has seen a lot of heat recently. So I'm just gonna run through it again with this. Brooks here. We're Hi. matching. She brought her space heater. I did reach out to my super though, so hopefully it will be fixed. Any minute now. We're switching sides today so Brooke can be closer to the space heater. Yes. That was, Brooke wasn't being insistent. I was just like, why don't you sit on that side? No, that was very nice. I mean, it's not like freezing, freezing cold, but I was just like, let's get comfy. Cozy, yeah, let's get cozy. Though, yeah. You know, the Yule log only does so much. Yes, very <laughs> much so. We're, we're doing it. Yes. But we are doing a Girl Talk episode. Um, we have some great topics we're going to be talking about. We're also going to be recapping the live show and all of its greatness so definitely if you guys do not listen to gals on the go podcast now is a great time to become a gals on the go listener because i'm well, actually we're about to go on a break for two weeks but yeah, go back and listen to it. There's so many episodes waiting yeah you have so many amazing episodes all the titles are very clear as to what we're talking about and i also say this because after this live show we have realized like how fun they are and how much fun you guys have and so we're definitely going to be start going to more cities next year like we're talking maybe february so definitely become a gals in the go listener so that when the live shows come to your city you'll be in the know you don't even have to listen to the podcast necessarily it's just a fun time but you can be in on some of the inside jokes so it's a great podcast i gotta shout us out every wednesday new episode youtube videos at 2 p.m eastern time every wednesday so if you'd rather watch the podcast and we talk a lot of, about a lot of different things and it's just like having some gals chat in your ear while you fold your laundry or walk to class or drive to work. So yeah, yeah. gals on the go, baby. Love it. Love it. Love. Brooke just left. Oh. oh my gosh, I'm using my foam roller right now. 
Every time I do, like, with Pilates, it's like new back muscles, I feel like, that I'm working on. So I always try to foam roll because all of a sudden I start cramping. I was like, oof. So it's not good to do this with a hood on because the hood gets stuck under the foam roll, but it feels so good. Oh my gosh. It's like warm in here now because of Brooke's space heater. She was like, do you want me to leave this for you? Like, I feel like you need it. And I was like, no, my super will come and fix it. I've put in the request, it's happening. I think I'm really liking this eye makeup. I feel like it really makes my eyes pop. Just got some packages in the mail and I thought I'd do a little haul because there are a ton of fun little like girly things. I was influenced by Camille Caustic. This thing is called the Sleepy Tie and it's supposed to protect, prolong, and enhance your blowout or styled hair with Sleepy Tie. I like watched so many videos of people using it. It's basically like, I forget. I have to watch the video. They show you the instructions here um, and they have so many videos on their Instagram. There's like three things happening here. There's like two scrunchies in this and I think you like wrap your hair around this one and then secure it with these or something. I have to watch the video again because I'll get blowouts and I want them to last for days and they honestly last pretty well but this I've seen amazing results of people using this so you just like sleep with your hair in the sleepy tie and you wake up and it gives you that body still and those waves without like kinks so um I'm really interested to try it maybe I'll try this when I go to bed tonight even though I didn't get a blowout maybe it'll give my hair more of like a blowout feel maybe we'll try it after this haul yeah it looks like you wrap your hair around this one and then you secure it with the scrunchie um my friend Kelly has done collaborations with this company dunes collection they have these beautiful wood wick candles and every time i'm at her apartment she has them burning and i really wanted hers so i finally bought it because they restocked it so her candle with dunes is called glossy of course and kelly and i have very similar um taste in scent um so this one if i remember correctly has like amber and sandalwood like that kind of more masculine yet sexy feminine vibe it smells so good and i love a woodwick candle especially in the winter because it basically like will crack a little bit so i'm so excited to finally have this because she always talks about these and i keep missing like last time i tried to buy it it was out of stock so fast all of her followers got it so this time i got it so i'm really excited i love me some candles if you listen to the podcast, then you know I was influenced. Glossy AU, that scent, there was like those viral TikToks going around and everything about people being stopped in the streets, like you smell so good. And I had that moment where I was at a bar and I, I mean, there's so many people in there and I asked my friend, I was like, what are you wearing? And she was like, Glossy AU. And she had the little solid perfume with her, which is so convenient for travel and it's not liquid, so it's not gonna spill anywhere, whatever. Also, how fun and cute is this? Like. I love how you can like take your thumb and just spin it out. So we were in the bathroom and I put a little bit on and then later that night someone was like, you smell incredible. And I was like, from this? Like I didn't even spray it. Like I literally just used a little of this on my wrist. It's that powerful. It's called Glossier U because I believe they have some sort of, maybe it's pheromones or they have something in it where it basically adjust to your skin your body and everyone kind of has their own unique scent with it i mean it does smell good like not on but then it kind of adjusts to you so i was very influenced after that evening so i also bought the perfume obviously but i was like i might as well have the solid to have your in your bag and then i got the candle too because you guys know i love candles so i've got lots of candles i've got candles going now the candle smells so incredible um this one is this actually smells different than this but maybe it's because it's a candle i don't know it says orange blossom so i don't know maybe they have different scents i mean it kind of smells like the perfume i don't know i just i had to have it and then lastly my friends kenzie and jessica they have a company called the oh kind they sent me which i had no idea they were sending me this their oh kind puffer bag it's so cute it says oh kind on the corner there this is so perfect i love how it has a zipper too this is great if you're like going to a workout or something and it's so cute for this time of year i feel like so that's my little haul. I don't always do hauls, but I thought, I do hauls a lot though, what am I saying? I thought those were a ton of really cute little girly things. Now I am going to grab my computer again and finish responding to some emails and just some, some computer work so that I can enjoy my evening tonight. My friend Seb and I are going to a holiday bar. I don't know if it's, I feel like it's a pop-up during the holidays, but maybe it's another bar that they like make holidays only during the winter. I don't really know. It's called Miracle on 9th Street in the East Village. 
I'm like craving doing some more holiday things. I just think it's so fun, especially during Vlogmas. And Seb was like, when you do stuff for Vlogmas, please tell me. Like I want, like it's a good push to do festive things in the city. You kind of forget. Like last year, I feel like I did so much because I had just moved here. And this year I've been honestly really focused on the live show, but I was like, let's go tonight. And then we're gonna go to Bryant Park and we got tickets to go ice skating. I'm so excited. I love a good ice skating moment. So I'm really excited. I gotta bundle up, it's cold. I think I'm gonna wear my earmuffs that I just got from MEJ. But I've got a little time till then, so I'm gonna relax. I'll check in with you guys in a little. Okay, we are going to build an outfit together for ice skating tonight slash the Christmas bar. I have on a black tank top put over top my Uniqlo heat tech long sleeve. This thing is amazing. I have one pair of Lululemon leggings on right now and socks, but I'm taking off the socks. I'm going to attempt to put on a second pair of leggings, my Spanx like faux leather leggings. I always say I'm gonna do it and then I always forget and then I step outside. I'm like, I could use another pair. Another option would be to purchase some thermal lined or fleece lined um leggings i was cooking something um so comment down below your favorite ones i have gotten some from amazon in the past and they were good but they didn't last me long they kind of like weren't the best quality so well it's gonna be funny like peeing take off two pairs of pants i'm out of breath but um yeah so comment down below i wonder if uniqlo has some i didn't even check I love this tank and I thought it'd be good to have two pairs of leggings on because I'm ice skating in case I fall a little bit more batting I don't know I'm gonna put my socks back on I think I might I mean they're gonna wear black tall boots or my Uggs probably honestly maybe my black tall boots because then we'll put on ice skates part of me is like I feel like I should put on thicker socks too I'm gonna switch to my black don't tech socks these are still for sale on our gals on the go podcast merch we sell our merch on fanjoy.co or you can go to gals on the go podcast.com and it comes in a set of two the pink and the black and they're just like a little bit thicker and they're cute Ooh, it's like a workout okay i haven't worn this sweater yet it's from revolve i will link it below it's from the brand Le academy and it's so cute in winter i feel like it's actually got little bit of blue in it my makeup is just fully gonna get on this turtleneck but that is what washing is for it's very boxy but i'll be like wearing a jacket over top as well and then i want to wear these earmuffs they're definitely big but they will keep my ears warm so we love that I can't always take myself seriously with earmuffs, but they look so cute and they really do keep your ears warm. I'm like trying, I wish this sweater was like a little longer or a little shorter. It's like this weird length. I guess I could like tuck it in. It kind of looks better, but I know it's just gonna come out, so. All right, I am going to add these accessories. I feel like I always wear my puffer, but since I'm super layered up, I feel like I can wear a semi lighter jacket. I mean, this is like a, it's a warm jacket. Um, this is from Mango. I also have it in like a camel color, but I haven't worn this one yet. And it's technically navy, but I treat it as a black jacket sometimes. But since this has blue in it, I was like, that's perfect. And then I think I'm also going to do this gray rag and bone scarf. More so just for the looks. I feel like it adds something. I'm, I'm trying to channel a Matilda Jerf. I'm like, what would she wear ice skating? Um, and then these... MEJ earmuffs and then my black Bottega these black boots from Steve Madden because I want to be comfortable my Ryan Vuxum lip gloss and we're good to go I feel very wintry I'm so excited because Bryant Park also has the um like cute winter market so it'll just be an all-in-one evening and yeah so but first we're gonna go to Miracle on 9th Street. I also wore the gray scarf because these stars seem to be gray, so I thought kind of all tied in together. She goes, I'm scared. Should I try it? Try it. Taste test. 
Oh, it tastes like um, oh, what are those Andy's mints? Oh, that's actually yummy. Can you taste the tequila? No. Oh wow, impressive. So that's the one Seb got. I of course kind of a brand. I got like the dinosaur one. I was like, what cups are? It literally shows you what cup each one comes in. But this one like seemed to be the best taste for me. Let's see. Grandma got ran over by a T-Rex. All right. That is strong and good. It tastes like punch. Macy's 34th Street. We've made it to Bryant Park Winter Village. We actually came on a good day, Monday. It's not like body to body crowded. It's so cute. And there's a tree at the rink. I don't oh, know whoa. if I knew that. So we get to see a tree. I'm excited. There she goes. We did it. It was fun. Did you have fun? It was so much fun. It was very festive. She had to get new shoes to actually skate. I met so many of you guys while I was ice skating too, so that was fun. You guys saw me in a very vulnerable state, but um, it was nice to meet you guys. We're getting, we're splitting a burger and fries. It's, I'm like getting excited about this. It's gonna be delicious. We had such a lovely evening. That burger hit. Highly suggest going to Bryan Park. We went on a Monday, so it wasn't as crowded but there were still definitely lots of people. I'm walking to get a cab, Seb just left, and feeling very festive. Back now, it was chilly out there, but um, it took me forever to get a cab. I walked a lot of blocks, um, and it was very cold. So now I just feel like pretending I'm in a Hallmark movie and I just got back, I'm hanging my coat up and uh, I'm gonna make some hot cocoa because we actually didn't end up getting any there, which was a mistake, but we got the burger and then we were like, let's go. Um, so I'm gonna make some hot chocolate here because I think I have some and watch some sort of something Christmassy, I feel. <laughs> So I remember I have this, Rare Beauty sent me this in a really cute little holiday PR package. There's no instructions, but I'm assuming hot water or hot milk. I'm gonna do hot water and then you put this in. I don't really want the sprinkles though. Get the hot water going and we'll get a mug. Oh my gosh, guys, the saddest news. From day one of Vlogmas, I bought that beautiful Christmas mug. I broke it the next day. I literally was putting it I was taking it out of the sink and I literally lightly tapped it and it just broke. I was so sad <laughs> to say the least. So, but I wish I had whipped cream that would like hit right now. All right, we got hot water on deck, the chocolate powder in here. We just have to hope for the best here. I might add a little milk just because I have some. Honestly, I feel like a little half and half would taste would taste good in there. I really wish I had whipped cream right now. I can't believe I didn't get hot chocolate at Bryant Park, but it's okay. My family's coming into town this weekend, and I feel like we're going to do stuff like that. I'm going to do a little more. I'm acting like I'm making coffee right now. Mmm. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it smells so good. <sighs> All right, I'm going to kick back, relax, watch some sort of festive something, and I will see you guys in the morning. Bye.